foreign gas. Um, hope everybody's doing well. It's the first day of September. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, and this is going to be a quick one. This is a update for uh, UK Scale Modeler's Adversaries build. Um, and this is where I am. <coughs> uh, let's see the first build. If you remember, watch the first video or not. But let's see, Airfix, Mitsubishi, A6, M2B, 21-0. Um, and this is where I am on the build. Uh, kind of fits those detailed out. You really can't see that. Um, engine. So what we are is ready for primer. Um, so all I have to do on this one is uh, just mask off these two spots here here and then prime uh, prime the last few bits and bobs and uh, and then put it all together and it'll be ready for paint all right so that's where we are um, not a lot left to do as far as the kit um, it's like everybody said it's lived up to this reputation um, it's a it's a nice little kit uh, no fit issues um, I don't think I'm gonna have to use one bit of putty at all once I prime it I doubt very seriously I'm gonna have to putty or fill at all um, so it's a super little kit my only complaint with it is the same thing with all the Airfix retool kits they're awesome little kits but uh, my only complaint is the parts on the sprues the sprue the connection point to the pieces are just way too big um, if there was a way airfix could rectify that the kits would be perfect but uh but that's like i said that's my only thing with the airfix retool um the adversary uh, if you remember it's the s6f three or five variation i'm doing the three um, Hellcat and this is an old old Hasegawa kit now they keep reboxing it it's fairly new as far as the box but it's an old kit but I'm going to tell you what this is the first Hasegawa kit I've done um, since my restart and uh, I've always I've been kind of negative on them because the price now these older ones are, are cheaper I got this one for like eight bucks, eight or nine bucks. Um, and like I said, I've always been, you know, kind of critical of Hasegawa because of the high price. But I'm going to tell you what, if this is representative of what Hasegawa does now, I may come off of that because this kit right here, here it is. I'm at the same point really with this one that I am with a zero. Okay, it's uh, just a little masking and it's ready for. Uh, primer but this kit is just it's perfect it's per it's an older kit I mean it's got some it's got race panel line which I don't care I mean it's an older kit and it's still perfect I mean there was very little flash on it just a little bit but the fit I mean look at the wing roots you can't even see a panel line you can't even see a connection line and all I did was was lay some uh, Tamiya fine um, on the, on glue on that. I mean, there's just I've done no filling, done no sanding, and I was just amazed by this. It was just absolutely perfect. So, so this is representative of what Hasegawa does now. Um, uh, does now? I'm, I may have to be a little critical, and I may, whenever I have a chance. Uh, that's a little extra cash into uh, one of their newer ones and see how those go. But this kit right here was an, so far an absolute pleasure to put together. I mean, it was definitely worth eight or nine bucks I paid for it. Um, all right, guys, that's where I am on this. So uh, now I've got to, due to the dates on finishes and everything, it may be a while before I have another update on that. Because I'm gonna have to come off of this. I'm gonna come off of this, and and probably uh, 
knock another group built out first that has a earlier stop date. But uh, so far I'm having a blast on this. Ian, very good group build, sir. Thank you. And uh, so once I get a little farther down the line, um, I don't know, my next step may be the finish. So, but anyway, that's where I am. You guys have a great day, and I hope it's a lot cooler where you are than where I am. All right, later. Take care. Love your family. Love your hobby. Bye-bye.